The story begins in the future where the population had increased significantly. Therefore, the Canadian government made a rule for its citizens that no parents could have more than one child. If anyone had a second child, their second child would be killed, even if the parent's first child had died. They would not be allowed to have more children afterward. We are introduced to John, an ex-military man, who wanted to cross the Canadian border with his wife, Karen. Karen was pregnant, and the twist was that this was their second child. If the Canadian soldiers found out about this, they would kill their child. Hence, John and his wife decided to cross the border cunningly. There was a large checkpoint ahead, so they wore large, heavy clothes made of metal to avoid being scanned by the military, which would reveal Karen's pregnancy. As they went a little further, a soldier noticed that Karen was wearing something unusual. All the soldiers started chasing John's car. Due to continuous attacks, John's car was severely damaged, so he began to run with his wife. John knew that they couldn't escape from the soldiers, so he sent his wife Karen away and stayed back to distract the military. The military officers caught John and beat him severely. As a punishment, John was sent to a very dangerous prison called Fortress, which was not above ground but built underground. All the criminals in Canada were sent to this prison. It was so terrifying and dangerous because no criminal had ever escaped from there. Indeed, when a criminal entered this prison, a device was implanted in their body. These devices could be controlled from outside, and if any criminal tried to escape, the device would explode inside their stomach, causing a very painful death. This device was implanted in the bodies of all the criminals there. John met many people like him there, and he became good friends with Minu and Abraham. The manager of the entire prison, Poonam's man, was extremely cruel and treated all the criminals like insects. John managed to survive there for a few days, but then Abraham told John not to have any dreams before going to sleep. John did not understand what Abraham meant and went to sleep peacefully. After a while, the security room got alerted through John's device that he was having a dream. Using advanced devices, they peeked into John's mind to see what dream he was having. They saw that John was dreaming about his beautiful wife. Poonam's man fell in love with John's wife upon seeing her and wanted to marry her at any cost. Meanwhile, he activated the device in John's stomach, shocking him and waking him from his dream. The next day, while John and Minu were working together, a criminal named Maddox, who used to harass all the other criminals, suddenly started troubling Minu. To protect Minu, John got into a fight with Maddox. The security system was activated, and all three of them were brought before Poonam. They were placed inside dangerous laser cells, which would burn their entire bodies upon contact. Poonam asked who started the fight first. Although Minu was very scared of Maddox and said nothing, John fearlessly told everything about Maddox. After listening to everyone, Poonam gave them one last chance, so they wouldn't engage in such fights again. After these incidents, John was called to the security room. There, Poonam's man was watching John's wife, Karen, taking a bath on the screen, which revealed to John that his wife was also in the same prison. John immediately went to Abraham to gather all the information about the prison. Abraham told him that the third floor was the women's section, where all the female criminals were kept. John thought that perhaps his wife was also imprisoned there. John's bad luck continued, and Maddox found an opportunity to take revenge on John and continuously attacked him. Their fight was so intense that all the other prisoners came out to watch. On the third floor, Karen saw her husband, John, and from the security system, Poonam's man gave a last warning to John and Maddox to separate. When the fight didn't stop, Poonam's man activated the device in Maddox's body, causing Maddox's back to explode. Surprisingly, he did not kill John. All the soldiers captured John and took him to Poonam. But before that, John secretly handed over the device from Maddox's body to Minu. As a consequence of John's actions, various types of wires were attached to his body. John was placed in a device that kept him spinning continuously. Poonam's man then blackmailed Karen, saying that if she did not marry him, John would be kept spinning in that device, which could eventually lead to his death. Under immense pressure, Karen had to agree to Poonam's man's demands. This meant that Poonam's man could now stay with Karen and marry her. 
After three days, the machine that was spinning John finally stopped, but John was in terrible condition. He was unresponsive to his friends, as if his personal life had completely ended. John, looking like a zombie, stared in one direction. His friends couldn't figure out how to help him. Meanwhile, Karen was forced to stay with Poonam's man. She saw him injecting pipes into his body, which scared her greatly. He then revealed to Karen that he was not a normal human but a genetically modified superhuman who did not need to eat or drink. When the rule to reduce the population was passed in Canada, the government started stealing the second children of all parents and converting them into superhumans who could survive without food or drink. Hearing this dark reality frightened Karen greatly. However, she also learned that her husband, John, was in very bad condition. So, she made Poonam's man drink a lot until he was intoxicated and passed out. Karen then managed the security system and looked into John's mind. She discovered that due to the constant spinning of the machine, John was trapped in a traumatic childhood memory. Using the advanced device, she pulled John out of his dream, bringing him back to normal. John's friends were overjoyed to see him recover. John learned everything that had happened and, now fully recovered, planned to escape with Abraham. Abraham, being both a criminal and working in Poonam's office, continuously provided information to Karen. With great cunning, Karen managed to steal a diamond bracelet that controlled the security system. Karen gave the diamond bracelet to Abraham, so now John and his friends had the bracelet containing the map of the prison. John also had the device he had taken from Maddox, which he had given to Minu. When they examined the device closely, they discovered that it contained a very powerful magnet. John and Abraham used this magnet to extract the devices from their group's stomachs, collecting many small devices in the process. On the other hand, after reviewing the camera recordings, Poonam's man realized that Karen had betrayed him and that John's entire group was trying to escape. When the system detected this, it automatically removed Poonam's man from his managerial position, making him very angry. John and his friends had to go through a large pipe to escape from the prison, but the big question was how to break the pipe. John and Abraham decided to place all the extracted machines from their stomachs onto the pipe. They then started a deliberate fight with the other prisoners, causing the system to automatically detect and activate the devices. The explosion created a hole in the large pipe, allowing John and his friends to proceed through it. However, Poonam's man wasn't going to sit idle. Despite being removed from his position, he sent a team of robots to attack John and his group. The robots killed some of John's companions, but John, Abraham, and Minu managed to deactivate one of the robots. They discovered that these robots were actually humans with robotic parts implanted in their bodies. John took one of the robots' weapons and attached it to his arm, enabling them to advance towards Poonam's headquarters. Upon reaching there, John pointed the gun at Poonam. When John looked at the screen, he saw doctors taking Karen to the operating theater to forcibly extract the baby from her back. John kept asking Poonam where his wife was, but Poonam's man didn't reveal anything. John and his companions took Poonam with them as they tried to escape. Suddenly, a security system machine detected them. However, John and the other criminals quickly moved away, causing all the bullets fired by the machine to hit Poonam. His entire body was destroyed in an instant. John now had to save his wife and deactivate the dangerous prison security system to escape. Minu, being a technician, went with John to the security system and cut the power, causing all the machines to stop working. John immediately reached the doctors who were operating on his wife, Karen. Pointing a gun at the doctors, John freed his wife. Unfortunately, many of John's companions had died during all this. John, Karen, and Minu then got into a truck and, after facing many difficulties, managed to escape from the prison. This was the first time it had happened. John, Minu, and Karen were in very bad condition, and Karen was about to give birth soon. They crossed the Canadian border so the military could not detect them anymore. A little while later, Karen gave birth to their baby. No one could now stop them from having as many children as they wanted, and their baby was no longer in danger. And with this, our story comes to an end.